Okay, very quickly on procrastination and uh, routines. Okay, so again, you know, if you want to get into a good um, routine um, with spiritual stuff, I think, you know, the stuff that I learned with uh, Dr. Hawkins is the most important thing is your, le your, your vibration or your level of consciousness. And the most, so when you're, when you're disconnected, like for me, um, and I've written a chapter in my book, Bulletproof Peace, on, on hierarchy, on spiritual hierarchy, and prioritizing, prioritizing the spiritual routine as the number one thing in, in my life, above all things, because it's the one thing um, that orchestrates uh, the day the most profoundly, is what is my spiritual vibration. So, lots of things. For me, it's even more, uh, also it's very, very symbolic. Like, the very first thing I'll do will be get on my knees and pray. I'll read my Course in, Les Course in Miracles lesson for the day. I'll take a short period just for doing, um, feeling the feelings or the observer. And that is like a setup, because tuning in, first thing, for me, there, I mean, there, there can be, uh, for me, there can be nothing that should be put before the spiritual stuff first. Uh, because that's like saying at the beginning of the day, because I come from an addiction background, so if the very first thing I did in the morning was eat a donut, that would be meaning that that's the, that is my God. It's like, or if the very first thing I did was reach and send a work email, then that would mean that work is the most important. You know, so it's, a, it's also a thing for the unconscious or for, for your own thing, like you're prioritizing the thing that is most important. So it's like, so for me, it's like, um, and for me, it was like, you just keep progressing spiritually to add to your routine. So I'll do things like pray, uh, I'll pray in the morning, I'll do Course of Miracles, 12 step prayers, I'll do my Course of Miracles lesson, um, I will um, uh, meditate or sit, feel the feelings. Um, then. I'll do some 12 steps things like a step 10 gratitude list, which is taking spiritual inventory and sending it to someone. I'll go to a 12 step group, which cal calibrates at unconditional love. Uh, all of those things for me are making sure I can gain access to the highest vibration of these things um, throughout the day. Recently, I've started um, doing, you know, like the Course in Miracles lessons throughout the day. Like uh, God did not create God did not create, um, was it? God did not create asthma in severe, so it's not real. Whatever it is, it is that's bugging me, I can do it throughout the day and get some. But all of those things will be pulling up my vibration. And I found that when, you, when your vibration is low, you try and control situations and the ego tries to work it out. But when you're at a, but the other way to do it is to increase your spiritual vibration and, and it, and let, let God and grace and intuition sort the problem out. And I know that's more powerful than going in from a lower vibration. So it's always like, if there's a problem, like I've got a problem at the moment with a squatter. So for me, it'll like spend, you know, like whatever time I'm intervening is a very short time. The rest of the time must be to raise my vibration, like go to the witnesser of my thoughts, feel the feelings, pray for a miracle to see the situation differently. Doing all of those things means that as you go to those higher vibrations, it then sorts it out. So if you're, um, the thing to get with setting a spiritual routine is that the spiritual vibration is the most important critical factor in life for how your day goes. Because, you know, if you, um, I don't know, if, if you um, did, um, I don't know, hoovered the house for an hour before you left for work. That's not going to uh, raise your spiritual vibration. And so you might have a cleaner house. But, um, you know, it's like everything is all orchestrated from your, from your vibration. Uh, in 12 steps, or in 12 step groups, um, they kind of know it from a life and death uh, perspective. Like step one in 12 step group is um, uh, like I'm powerless over alcohol, my life has become unmanageable. Meaning that when you're in your head trying to work things out full of fear, then 
directly speaking, your life will be unmanageable. Everything will be going wrong. It will be chaos and destruction everywhere because you've not got no connection to grace. You've got no connection to high vibration. You've got no connection to God. That means life will be ex uh, extremely unmanageable. And for addicts, that means they'll be acting out from their addictions and killing themselves. So it's a, it's a life thing. And um, so how do you get the power? The power comes through the spiritual routine and getting that connection to a high vibrational peace. So it's a life, you know, for an addict it would be life and death, but also for everyone, when you start getting that inner peace and stillness, the need to act out on addictions, also the ability to, to handle colleagues and environments becomes more effortless and easy. So what I'd recommend anyone watching this video is set a spiritual, you know, this. With spiritual routines, they should be like non-negotiables, you know. Like, you know, everyone in this day and age, everyone has like the agenda and packing everything into the day. Like, you know, I've, I've got to do tennis in the evening, I've got to meet my friends in the afternoon, I've got to like work on this project. But for me, none of that is important. You know, none of that, you know, none of that actually increases your spiritual connection and your vibration. So it's like... What I recommend this is what I do, and I recommend to everyone is that they have a uh, a spiritual routine which they want to commit to, and that becomes a non-negotiable, and it's done first thing in the morning, and uh, and it has to be done before everything, and it's like it's it's there is no negotiation on that. As soon as you let your ego have a negotiation on your on your spiritual routine, you you will not keep it up. Mm. So it's like. Um, so my prayer, quote and course in miracles, is non-negotiable. It's like wake up first thing in the morning, even if I have to arrive late, I'll do that. And the paradox is, if you make it the spiritual routine a non-negotiable, then actually life starts to become manageable. It's a paradox. Whereas if you have, if you keep doing it like I haven't got time to do the spiritual routine, life will be unmanageable because your ego will always say I haven't got enough time to do it. So your ego will always win. So that's what I strongly recommend, especially people struggling with the routine, find something that you're willing to, whether it's prayer and meditation in the morning, and do it before even you eat or you look at your phone or whatever, and, and, and sort of program your head that this is non-negotiable. Even if I'm late to work and I get fired, it'd be non and I've done that. And what happens, I'll share the positive side. If you have a strong spiritual routine, which is non-negotiable, um, then basically your life becomes better and better and better over time because it's like by having that over a period of time then ma life starts to become manageable because you've prioritized it for a period of time life will start to become manageable but if you can never prioritize it for a period of time you'll, the ego will always win because it will always get to, also once you get into a routine never let it go, a spiritual routine I did have a period uh, after my operation where I let my spiritual routine go for a while and I realized that the unmanageability increased dramatically so I had to get back on the routine very, very quickly. Mm.